Um, it's Tuesday, January 26, 2016, um, and I want to call our selectmen's meeting tonight to order. Uh, the agenda originally had an executive session scheduled for 6 p.m. Um, the matter that was to be discussed uh, pertaining to contractual negotiations um, no longer needed to be discussed. So the board did not uh, actually enter into executive session. We're beginning the open session here uh, by the town uh, selectmen's room clock at 7.03 p.m. As we always do, let me invite everyone here present to join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you very much. Um, our first item that we had on our schedule here for 7 p.m. is a hearing uh, for a fuel, um, underground fuel storage permit. Um, I'm going to read the hearing notice. I will state before I do so, however, that the uh, proponent for the um, flammables license has requested a continuance of the hearing, so I'm going to ask my colleagues um, to open the hearing um, and then authorize a continuance of the hearing to a date and time that I will note uh, when I get to that point. Um, so we're not going to take any uh, commentary this evening or discuss this matter beyond opening continuing the hearing. Um, notice is hereby given in accordance with Chapter 148, Section 13 of the Massachusetts General Laws that a public hearing will be conducted by the Board of Selectmen on Tuesday, January 26, 2016 at 7 p.m. at the Tewksbury Town Hall, 1009 Main Street in Tewksbury on the application of Cumberland Farms Incorporated, 100 Crossing Boulevard, Framingham, Massachusetts by Kathleen A. Souza, Senior Pipeline Manager, to store 32,000 gallons of gasoline and 8,000 gallons of diesel in two underground compartment tanks located at 265 Main Street, Tewksbury, Massachusetts, on property owned by Mark P. Ginsburg and Sons Incorporated. The Board of Selectmen recommends that comments be submitted in writing to the Board um, at Town Hall, 1009 Main Street in Tewksbury, on or before noontime on Friday, January 22, 2016. Uh, my colleagues have the benefit of a number of documents pertaining to that request, um, and I would read for your benefit correspondence dated January 26, 2016, earlier today, um, from uh, attorney John Smolak, who represents Cumberland Farms Incorporated indicating that this firm represents Cumberland Farms Incorporated, the applicant, with respect to the pending flammable storage license hearing scheduled for this evening. On behalf of the applicant, we are requesting uh, respectfully that the board uh, open but immediately continue the hearing without taking testimony until the board's scheduled meeting date of February 23, 2016. The reason for the continuance is to enable the applicant to address some matters with an abutting landowner where continued discussions have occurred and will hopefully be concluded by the February 23 meeting. Um, sincerely, John Smolak. Um, in checking our schedule, um, that is a scheduled selectmen's meeting day. Um, we have um, the 7 p.m. slot uh, not yet assigned for any hearings, so um, unless there's discussion, I would like to request a motion to continue the hearing to February 23, 2016 at the time of 7 p.m. I'll make a motion to uh, change the date to uh, continue it to February 23rd at 7 p.m. Second. Okay. So we have a motion made by uh, Mr. Kratman. That was second by, seconded by Mr. Panelitis. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? The chair will vote in the affirmative as well. Um, so we will continue that matter. and. Um, I don't know that there's anyone here that was interested in that specific item, but obviously, as you just heard, um, we will return here on the 23rd at 7 um, to take that matter up in a more formal context. Um, I can't begin the next hearing that's scheduled for 7.15 just yet, um, so let me ask if um, we can move to the new business section um, in the agenda which pertains to
first one is from our town clerk. It's item number six in your materials. Um, and you will have a request before you from the town clerk pertaining to election staff and her request to appoint uh, two individuals, Kelly Champa and Lorreen McNeil, um, to fill vacancies through August of 2016 as inspectors or deputy inspectors in Precinct 1A. And these two individuals uh, were um, applied and uh, recruited and re applied for these positions based on vacancies that occurred since we last um, approved the entire roster um, that the clerk submitted to us. Um, so if there are no questions, I just ask for a motion to approve and appoint those two individuals to the election roster for August of this year. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second. Okay, we have a motion made by Mr. Gray, seconded by Mr. Wentworth. To all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? The chair will vote aye on that as well. Um, Mr. Montori, can we move to some of your items for sure. five or six minutes? Um, you want to go through town council invoices? Yes, there are two um, invoices to approve tonight. One is the senior town council to the town council. I asked the board to approve um, senior town council invoice in the amount of $7,185. Any questions on that documentation or the request? Now that there are any motions. Make a motion to approve the invoice for senior town council. Second. Okay, we have a motion made by Mr. Penelite, seconded by Mr. Crackman. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? And the chair will vote aye as well. Um, the next is for our town council uh, invoice, in the amount of $2,210. Mr. Wentworth, seconded by Mr. Gay. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes in affirmative as well. Can we go back just to uh, yeah. town council's invoice, uh, senior town council. Uh, I was looking at the previous agenda. That was $6,053.20. Uh, okay. So, um, all right, so we'll amend the amount if I can have a motion to do that to $6,053 and what? 20, 20 cents. Yeah. Uh, so, previous. Okay. okay. Is there a second to that? Okay, all those in favor, please signify by saying that. Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye as well. All right, so we change that one. Um, Could you go for both senior town council? It's that time of year to uh, open and close uh, the warrant for a special town meeting, annual town meeting. I would ask the, uh, the board vote to open the warrant for both annual and special town meeting in May, and uh, that will close on February 26th at 4 30. Is there any discussion about that? <coughs> to open immediately. Oh, over immediately. Yes. It's both the annual and the special. Okay. Are there any motions? Motion to approve. Okay. Is there a second? Second. All right. So the motion, if I understand it, is to open the warrant effective immediately and close it on February 26, 2016, at 4:30 p.m. Correct. Okay. And that motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? That would be unanimous. Um, how about do 
Well, we got two more minutes. Okay. Just quickly, um, just wanted to announce the police department, uh, as usual, is, is uh, aggressive in getting grants for the department. We received uh, a um, child safety, passenger safety grant uh, that was awarded to them the past couple of weeks in the amount of uh, $2,000. Chief had sent notification to us about the grants mm -hmm. will be used for uh, car seats uh, and uh, other uh, child passenger safety items. Every little bit helps in the department. And child safety equipment is one of the priorities that the uh, Chief Safety Officer Jenny Welsh had. Success, right? Yeah. If I remember right, Mr. Montori, I think the fire department also was in this fire. I'm just trying to get the exact right as well, right? Maybe we should go back around on that. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> All right, last item before we go back to our 7.15 item. Let's um, take any outstanding minutes if I can turn to our clerk. Yep, okay. Uh, well, we have the outstanding minutes of December 15th. 2015 that were distributed to everybody at the last meeting. And I'd like to make a motion to approve those minutes. Okay, so that's regular and executive? Regular and executive session, please. Is there um, any concern about that? Everybody's had a chance to review them? Okay, we have a motion on the table. Is there a second? A second. Okay, um, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? The chair will vote aye as well. Okay, we have the minutes from January 12th, regular and executive session. Um, those minutes weren't finalized prior to this meeting, but we expect to have them for the next meeting. Okay. Okay. So we'll put those on for the <coughs> Okay. Thank you, Mr. Crabb. All right, so I'm going to go back to our agenda in the order in which we published it that brings us to our 715 agenda item. I will read a public hearing notice. I believe there probably are some representatives from um, National Grid present. I'd invite them to come forward um, to this table here while I read the notice. Um, you are hereby notified that a public hearing will be held by the Board of Selectmen of the Town of Tewksbury in the Selectmen's meeting room, Town Hall, 1009 Main Street at 7.15 p.m. on Tuesday, January 26, 2016 on the petition of National Grid Merrimack Valley Reliability Project petition for franchise rights as shown on the attached petition and plans. If you have questions regarding the petition, um, contact Joshua Smith Esquire and Bodich and Dewey, uh, Dewey, excuse me, LLP. Um, and um, there's a, a number of materials that have been presented to uh, my colleagues. Um, if I could ask, uh, gentlemen, if you'd introduce yourselves for the record so we know who you are. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my, for the record, my name is Joshua Lee Smith, and I'm the attorney representing National Grid and Connection Well, Welcome. Hi, I'm Brian Dudock, and I am the project manager for National Grid and Florida Center. Thank you. Um, so, Councillor, do you want to just uh, give us an overview of what your client is requesting of the town this evening? Uh, yes. Uh, so, we filed our petition with the town uh, to the board in connection with our request for franchise rights uh, in connection with this project, which is known as the Merrimack Valley Liability Project. This is an overhead transmission line project, uh, which, which will be occurring within an existing uh, uh, public utility uh, electric transmission line right up on the port. Um, in Massachusetts, the project will uh, traverse through the towns of uh, Tewksbury, Andover, and Drayton. Um, as was uh, discussed with uh, various town officials, uh, this project will also extend into various towns within New Hampshire as well. So, um, <coughs> Within the town of Tewksbury, the project begins or starts uh, at a substation known as Tewksbury 22A. And uh, in connection with a, a sub that substation project as well as this overhead transmission line project, uh, the company has met with several uh, municipal officials, including but not limited to uh, the building commissioner, uh, Stephen Sadwick, the community development director, uh, the conservation agent, 
Mr. Hardman, the uh, town engineer, and other uh, municipal officials to discuss the project, answer questions. Um, the company is also going through a, uh, a permitting process with the state uh, with the Department of Public Utilities uh, in connection with the project, and um, we, uh, the company anticipates uh, receiving uh, a, a final uh, approval from the state in connection with